I got my CD ready. Well, that's great. Congratulations. Follow me. I'll show you where the CDs go. I'm like official. Ice to spring. Oh my god. We say we see the light. We say we shout at night. I wanna see the fire. I fire, fire, fire for your ride. blessing from creator saying like yes Isis you made it it's only up from here <laughs> my name is Massey White Knife <laughs> my name is also Isis Rain I'm a two-spirited entrepreneur who made millions in Canada's oil sands and then I lost everything now, it's time to face my demons and reclaim my life. I am still queen of the oil patch. Hey guys, how are you? I've been training for like the past 12 weeks. Good massive, yeah buddy. To actually have a boxing match. All right, guys, 100 punches, let's go. Eight. Three rounds, just me and my opponent. Don't forget your push-ups. Oh. Assy, don't you give up. You can do it. Just going to start swinging and then pray that I don't get knocked out. <laughs> Big Alta Prime Super Center. How many drugs are call? I'm thinking of getting a pet. This is cute. Do you want to take a look at the turtle? OK. So right here, we have an ornate wood turtle. I think he pooped on me. Or is that his tail? That is his tail. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's lonely around the house, and I think that maybe just having a companion, a little bit of responsibility, would be good for me. So one Yay! thing with turtles is they do produce a lot of waste. Do you want me to take him off in case yeah. he does poop? Yeah. OK. That's enough for you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yucky. <laughs> this is a bearded dragon. Ooh! OK. Wait. Oh, god. Oh. Oh. oh, OK. Yeah, this one's yeah. cute. Yeah. Oh, so, OK, baby, 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 baby. So there's that little guy. So this is a crested gecko. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK. They don't have teeth. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, my god. It's on me. Take it off, take it off. OK, 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 OK. It's, oh. they, they don't have teeth. <laughs> Okay, okay, crested gecko, not for you. Okay, so maybe reptiles aren't what we're looking for. So did we want to go look at maybe some starter fish? Okay. Basically, when we first set up an aquarium, you don't want to just throw whatever fish in there right away. Oh, okay. So we got to get that ecosystem ready for the fish you really want. So I know these aren't like the prettiest fish and they might not be the ones that you want, but... but they're like, do you start them off and then I can like get other fish to put in? Yeah. And I can name them, right? There. You can name them. Cool. Awesome. It's so big. How am I going to get it into my place? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, fishies. Oh, wait. Woo! Oh, <gasps> Is that what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Swim away. You're home. Well, get out of the neck. <laughs> this one I'm going to name Beverly. Beatrice. 
And that one's kibbles and bits and bits and pieces. This one's Princess Prada Petroleum. And this one's going to be Tootsie Cola Wuff and Puff and Pico. Welcome to Canada, home of indigenous. You guys are treaty now. You get dental. You're so cute. My new family. Am I supposed to drink coffee before a fight? <laughs> you want extra caffeine, extra energy? <laughs> Today, I was supposed to fight a, an opponent, but he um, backed out last minute. He just backed out today? Yeah, okay. so I don't have anybody to fight. Damn. So, so I called my friend Sheena T. Kane because she's a professional boxer. Talking with my therapist, like, one of the biggest fears that I had was the bullies, right? Because I was always getting beat up as a kid. So I want to, like, face my fear and get in there. So now you're, like, just step into it. Yeah. You've been training for quite a while, like, working up to this fight? Not, like, consistently, like I'm supposed to be. Just on and off, getting ready for it, kind of? Yeah. I'm guessing it's too short. I've noticed you a replacement, so yeah. I can come in and spar with you, at least. You have a background in boxing, though. Like, you're a champion. Well, I've been a professional for a little over five years, yes. How many fights have you been in? Like, in the boxing? ring? Boxing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let me count. I'm five and one right now. And then in the amateurs, I think I had like about 25 or so. Oh my God. Yeah. So how does it work with like men and women? Not only me, but other females and guys, we all spar each other. It is a very crazy mind battle. Like if me and you go in the ring, it's obviously not gonna be like going to try to take each other's head off like a real fight, but you have to be mentally prepared. Just don't put me in the hospital, because I know that you're like a well-trained professional. <laughs> see what I can do. Keep your hands up, move your head a little. We should be OK. I just got a mouth guard. We'll break it in. <laughs> now I'm getting worried. <laughs> so tomorrow, it's on. OK. sisters. So long, little guys. Poor things. All alone again. When I woke up, I looked in the tank and noticed that they were like in the, the suction thing, like they were stuck there. Yeah. Like it was traumatizing for me. I mean, I know this might sound crazy, but I mean, they're, they're fish, but I really felt like they were mine, you know? Like I don't have anyone, you know? Mm -hmm. So they meant a lot to me. Yes. I think I need to grieve. Mm. And I don't know what that is. Yeah. I know it's. I know it no. sounds crazy. You know, you know what? But it it's isn't. like it's my little babies. <laughs> you know what though? One of the things you mentioned to me when we first started is you want to feel. Mm -hmm. So, if it's okay with you, just to feel this. I don't know how to feel though. I'm saying I feel sad. Yeah. Because I think that that's what I'm yeah, supposed to feel. The way to start to feel things again is to start with more of the positive emotions. So through play and, and laughter and, and you might find out down the road, you'll grieve in the way that you never thought you would grieve. My hope through our coaching sessions is to fill the void with things that allow you to love life again. That makes so much sense. I don't want to like, you know, let what happened take me like down a wrong path. Yes. You know, cause I've been doing really well. Yes. I want to keep moving forward, but my God, like, you know, yeah. what next? I moved 
to Edmonton to get healthy. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. The boxing match, it's a big challenge. It's like me climbing Mount Everest. Gina's like a professional boxer. She's my friend, but she's not in there to be my friend. We're sparring. I got some good hands. Yeah, he should be a little bit afraid. I'm a little bit concerned that, you know, I might just take one to the noggin, that I have a brain aneurysm, I go to the hospital, you know, a week later I have a tumor. And then I have to plan my will and then I die. So, <laughs> no, I'm not ready. I'm scared. <laughs> there we go. Brad's going to hold my spit bucket. <laughs> I'm going to be in his corner. I like him. He's a friend. So, you got to support your friends. Hey, yeah. Look, all my relations. Hop a two feathers up now. It's a glorious occasion. Welcome to the seventh generation club. What up? One time for the home down the res road. Two times for the crew in the city, though. Legend has it that create a man and animal. Yeah, and he know I'm an animal. One time for the home down the res road. Two times for the crew in the city, though. Legend has it that create a man and animal. Yeah, and he know I'm an animal. I can't run anymore. I can't keep running from my fears. All right, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Come on, Lassie. This journey, working on our mental health. Come on, Lassie. I can't even, like, hit you. And it takes its toll on me, I'm not going to lie. Oh! Oh! But the trauma that I've been through, that shouldn't define who I am. <laughs> Basically, make sure that you kind of close your distance a little bit. <laughs> Keep yourself covered. Punch, punch, punch. Come on, Mass. Come on, let's go. Come on. You're doing good. His form started to go off. So he got a little bit tired. Close the distance. Keep your hands up. Oh. I gave him a nice little body shot. Come on, come on, come on, get in there, come on. I noticed he kept on opening up his elbows. Get her in the corner, get in the corner, Massey, get her in the corner. Just snuck in quickly with a little uppercut to, to keep him checking, but... Get in the corner, Massey, get in the corner, Massey, get in the corner. Oh, hurt. Come on, get angry, get angry. Come on. Body shots, come on, get her, go. get her, body shots, come on. Body shots, you got this. Yeah. Just took a little more. One more, bud, lean up. Lean back, lean back, lean back, breathe, breathe, breathe. I'm gonna Breathe faint. Up. Breathe out really hard. Turn your lungs. Big breath in. Okay, get in there like this. Remember what I told you? No. So control yourself a little bit more. Come on, you got this. Try right, pick your punches. Come on. Yeah, use your size. Come on. Atta boy. There we go. Good, good. That's what he taught you. Come on. Come on, just tell all that anger for getting picked on when you're younger. Uh, Atta boy, yeah. Uh, come on. Throw some punches. Body uh, shots. Uh, worker. Come on. Come on. Throw some punches, Master. Uh, 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 to the end, that's not it. Totally a draw, absolutely. Uh, it's so good uh, that he even came out for the third round because you could tell he didn't really want to. That shows you a lot of heart. I'm dying. You, go. you know what? You had a fear of, of being hit and not being able to hit back, and you had that opportunity, and you fought the whole three rounds, buddy. That's literally the whole point of it. It was amazing. Take it, buddy. It was good, yeah? Thank you. You should slowly get up, so yeah, don't slowly, just stay on the ground, slowly. okay? Yeah. Points-wise, he might not have done so well. But I think emotionally, Massey won that fight. Maybe, yeah, not too quick. <laughs> a lot of people would have given up, but he dug it up and got to it. If anything, I am proud of myself that I, I set out to do something and I finished it. That, that was immensely fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're here to be in his corner. <laughs> Through all the friends that I've had along the way, Brad has been the one that actually stood by me for just accepting me for who I am. It means the world to me, really. <sighs> 
She gave him a nice uppercut. Boom! Oh He's my like, God, oh. I know. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <Take a step. laughs> yeah. Thank you for, for, so for everything. I'll train more the next time. Yeah. Yeah. Am, I, am I bleeding? Do I have any bruises? <laughs> I noticed a big change in myself since I started going to Wolf House, like just learning the basics and, you know, training and stuff, that I have more confidence in myself now. It's different. The way you carry yourself is really strong and really, like... I just couldn't believe how, like, powerful it was that I felt... Different. So right? different and, like, yeah. so strong. On this journey, we've come a long way. I think we've definitely matured. There's me and Massey, right? We're a package. I mean, he created me. We're, we're a team, we're a duo. When Massey gets healthy, I get healthy. So it's a win-win. <laughs> Bonita. Thank you very much. Of course. Love ya. I love you too. So I take it you heard a lot about me? Yes. What do you think of Massey seeing me? At first, I was a little bit uh, apprehensive and uh, almost defensive because, I mean, I am his defense mechanism. Yes. Um, so I was worried that maybe, you know, he might be talked into, like, getting rid of me. Mm. Um, but then after that, I see that he's starting to like make so much progress. Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy that, you know, you have that relationship with him. That's good. Yeah. He likes you and he respects you and he looks at you like family. So Thank you're you. family to me. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Isis. I yeah. appreciate it. One of the things that Massey first shared with me is Isis is Massey's safe place. You remind him of what to do when things are hard. I feel like, you know, with Massey and all the trauma that he goes through, he's always walking with this ball and chain, and nothing like that has happened to me. Yes. I think it's just like, you know, since he was 18 and created me, me not having to go through all those traumas that he went through, I was able to evolve and excel a lot faster. Mm -hmm. I wonder it would be great to have, through music, mm -hmm. a message from Isis to Massey about something that he needs to hear right now. Can we do something yeah, like that right Yeah, actually, now? I was thinking of something earlier. Yeah. I'll just read something and I'll sing it for you, okay? Sure, sure. Okay. It's like water to wine Halos to thorns Like a fruit from the vine I felt really comfortable with him. It's like water to wine. Yes. I actually opened up a lot more than I actually thought I would have. It's easier to, you know, live this life of uh, chaos mm -hmm. um, and bring everybody's drama in, right? So they wear the thorn, right? They yes. want that pain. Yes. But if you were to be wearing a halo and just follow in, like, you know, with happiness and love, you mm -hmm. know, Massey, I think he loves to celebrate my successes. Yes. I'm hoping that when he continues working with you, that he'll be able to start learning to enjoy his successes. Mm. That's, that's what I want for him. that moving to Edmonton was the best decision I made in a long time. Ooh, sorry, fish. Okay, take two. I'm a work in progress. But I've come a long way. They look scared. They don't want to leave the net. <laughs> there you go. Okay, welcome to your new home. So I got five fish, three snails, and two shrimp. 
Good luck. I hope you guys survive. I'm not gonna name you guys until you guys like past the one week, one week old stage. In the meantime, maybe I could feed you guys. There you go. Oh my God, they're eating it. That's so cool. Who needs cable now when I got like this? Look, oh my God, this is so cool. Maybe I could just have like a snail farm if these guys die. <laughs> Going through this journey, working with like, you know, my spirituality, coming closer to my creator, going to the Powa Trail. Ladies and gentlemen. I've accomplished a lot. I just rain. Through and against all odds. Majority of it. Oh. I'm a lot stronger than I thought. I hike. And through music, through creating and through giving back. Ah. I'm healing myself. <laughs> Right now, I feel optimistic. Is that a word? <laughs> Just wait. I got a special gift for you. Uh, go down. What the? Stay down. Sorry, no presents. Life feels so hard. Do you wish upon a star?